வணக்கம் அயல் நாட்டு கல்வி பற்றிய இந்த நிகழ்ச்சிக்கு உங்களை எல்லாரையும் வரவேற்பது நிர்மலா யூரோப் ஸ்டடி சென்டரின் கல்வி ஆலோசகர் அயல் நாட்டு கல்வி அப்படின்னு சொன்ன உடனே நம்மளுக்கெல்லாம் நினைவுக்கு வர்றது நிறைய செலவு பண்ணணும் காம்படிட்டிவ் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் எழுதணும் இங்கிலீஷ் டெஸ்ட் கிளியர் பண்ணினோம் ஜாப் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் இருக்குமா நேட்டிவ் லாங்குவேஜ் தெரியணுமா எஸ்பெஷலி யூரோப்பியன் கண்ட்ரீஸ்க்கு போகிறபோது நேட்டிவ் லாங்குவேஜஸ் நம்மளுக்கு கட்டாயம் தெரிஞ்சிருக்கணுமா அப்போ தான் வேலை கிடைக்குமா சேஃப்டி இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய சந்தேகங்களும் பயங்களும் நம்ம மாணவர்களிடையே இருப்பதனாலும் அதுவும் குறிப்பாக பெற்றோர்களுக்கு இந்த மாதிரி சந்தேகங்கள் நிறையா இருக்கிறதுனால நாங்கள் இந்த மாதிரி நிகழ்ச்சி தொடர்ந்து நடத்திட்டு வரோம் இன்றைக்கு நம்ம கூட இந்த நிகழ்ச்சியில் பங்கு பெறத்துக்காக லித்வேனியாவிலேருந்து டெலிகேட் வந்திருக்காங்க இவங்க லித்வேனியாவில் இருக்கிற டாப் டெக்னிக்கல் யூனிவர்சிட்டியான கவுனஸ் யூனிவர்சிட்டி ஆஃப் டெக்னாலஜியிலேருந்து வந்திருக்காங்க ஸோ விதவுட் எனி ம ஃபர்தர் டிலே ஐ ஆம் இன்ட்ரடியூசிங் த டெலிகேட் டு தி ஷோ குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் டாக்டர் வெல்கம் டு தி ஷோ அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு அவர் கண்ட்ரி அஸ் வெல் தேங்க் யூ வெரி மச் திஸ் இஸ் டாக்டர் கியோத்ரே She is the Director of uh, International Relations Department from Kaunas University of Technology. Uh, now she is going to talk about the university, the country, the opportunities and what all the programs the university is offering, everything uh, related to the university and uh, both bachelor's and master's program. So I am handing over the floor to Dr. Giyadri. Yes, Doctor. So thank you very much for having me here today. It's a pleasure to be back to India after the pandemics. So I'm representing uh, and I'm working at the International Relations Department at Kaunas University of Technology, mm-hmm. uh, top technical university in Lithuania. Okay. Here in, the, in our country, we always say that education is a human right. Therefore, as a university, we are working very hard to make that happen. every day. Yeah. This year is a special year for university because our university is celebrating 100 years anniversary. Wow. So it's been established in 1922 and since then we have never stopped working as the institution of higher education. When it comes to programs, we are offering programs from social sciences to especially and our focus indeed is especially in technological and engineering education. Okay, doctor. So I see lot of programs both in English uh, uh, bachelor's and master completely given in English. So the students are uh, uh, not required to uh, learn the native language. That is one plus because uh, many of the students think that uh, they cannot uh, uh, you know get a degree because it's going to be in the Lithuanian language. So could you please throw some light on the uh, both bachelor's and master's program what you offer in the university doctor? Yes, indeed. Um, I think it's unexpected uh, to search for English language programs in a country uh, as small as Lithuania is. Yes. However, at our institution, we are offering more than 50% of all programs taught entirely in English, meaning that the, university can, the student can start university and graduate without even learning a few words in Lithuanian. However, we provide the free Lithuanian language and culture program and course for those students who would like to learn at least basic Lithuanian just to feel more comfortable in their daily life. However, the campus is fully bilingual, meaning that all the information that you found on the campus as well as an academic information system, student interface is provided always in English and Lithuanian. So yeah. Yes. And when it comes to programs, uh, university is offering uh, more than the 20 programs taught entirely English. from business management uh, to aviation technologies to vehicle in- engineering uh, mechatronics electrical engineering chemical engineering and in masters the program list is even greater because yes. we are research based university therefore the offer in a masters program the more specialization is even greater and of course phd studies are taught entirely in english both for lithuanian and foreign students okay so you mean to say that the students are going to study completely in english so there is no need for them to do a uh, native language indeed yes that's very really great yes and um, when we uh, when we generally talk about uh, europe you know Uh, there are some famous destinations you must be knowing like you know germany italy france and uh, why should a uh, international student uh, you know 
consider Lithuania and why, what are the opportunities or the, uh, you know, the advantages the students are going to have when they are planning to come to Lithuania? Can you please uh, uh, give some uh, light on that also, doctor? Indeed, Lithuania is an unexpected destination for many students, yes. particularly to study in English. Correct. However, the country is small. We in total 3 million citizens and in Konas uh, it's 300,000 citizens. So it's really like a small neighborhood here in India. Therefore, the country in itself has a lot of to offer in terms of safety okay. in general, also safety in campus, but also in the country. Small country where it's easy to move around, go to your lectures primarily, of course, but also to see and visit the, the city where the student is going to be, also to visit the country. And uh, despite being a very small country, we are also in the middle of Europe, geographically speaking. And uh, despite that, we have three international airports. So the students will have the chance from Lithuania also to explore very other good connectivity. European countries. Yes. Indeed. So the connectivity inside the city and inside the, the country is uh, really comfortable. The public, infra public transport infrastructure yes. is indeed very convenient for students. For, when it comes for their studies, but also for, for explorations to getting to know a bit more about the country. And also connectivity with Europe is excellent and our students indeed benefit uh, from that availability. Yes, I also read about the internet connectivity, the fastest Lithuania has the... Uh, nowadays it's become like we cannot survive without an internet. So, <laughs> yes. So the connectivity is really good in terms of, uh, you know, local communication as well Absolutely. as internet. So the students may not feel uh, they are away from the family. Uh, they are always in the, uh, you know, all the technology helps them to, you know, see the parents on a daily basis Indeed. and all that. Yes, yes, indeed. The, when it comes to internet, we are seeing that it's a human right. So, so indeed, uh, the internet is uh, available on the campus, in the dormitories, but also in the public places, in most cases free of charge. So the students are actually literally always connected, which is good and calm for the parents and calm for the students because they are always in reach with their friends, with the families here in India, but also in Lithuania. Uh, so, Dr. Uh, can you please uh, tell about the research activities which is going on in the university, which is going to be beneficial for the students? Yes, as I mentioned before, we are a research-based university. Therefore, every study program that we are offering to our students is based on research being carried out in, at the university premises. Therefore, the students, when they come to study to our university, they can expect three types of lectures, being theoretical lectures, seminars, which is theory applied to practice, and practical lectures that they will be carrying out in the labs available in the faculty. Of course, students who are coming uh, for master's and PhD studies, they can expect also not only working in the labs available at the faculties, but also at our research institutes where we have uh, the most advanced technology to carry out research okay. so that they will be, once they graduate, they will be aware aware of uh, new technologies and being able to apply them in their daily work. That's very nice. So uh, can you please uh, uh, tell us something about uh, the job prospects and uh, the safety and the accommodation for the students, doctor? So there's several questions in this. <laughs> Let me start, uh, first of all, um, uh, about uh, jobs opportunities and stay back options. Yes. So, Firstly, the students who come to study, they, they, can, part, they can work part-time. Uh, from this year, the country has changed the law, uh, and therefore the students already in the master's level, they can work full-time. However, this is engineering you know, studies. Most of the students will be coming to engineering studies. Okay. Therefore, we strongly suggest students primarily to focus on the studies. This is the reason why the primary reason why they would be coming to Lithuania and to our university. Of course, the financial uh, means are also important. However, Konas and Lithuania is still a very reasonable country when it comes to living expenses. Yes. So apart from the tuition fees, the students uh, can expect to spend on a monthly basis around 450-500 euros uh, per month uh, covering accommodation costs in the dormitory, public transport, food, study materials, uh, any leisure activities that they want to engage into. Therefore, it's still very reasonable. Therefore, the living expenses 
make it up for, for a good um, economic place uh, to yeah. stay. So that makes it very comfortable when compared to the other European countries? Indeed. Actually, the accommodation price and total living expenses in, in big uh, cities like London, Correct. you would require the double amount just to pay the rent, yes. not speaking about any other facilities or, or food. Therefore, it's still very reasonable. Therefore, we really encourage students to primarily focus on the studies and on the research activities going on. This little sacrifice in the beginning will help them advance their career once they graduate and graduate with the good grades, with the good achievements in the university. Okay, that's really very nice. Yes. And of course, uh, when they graduate, they have a chance to stay one year in Lithuania doing internship postgraduate inter internship included, okay. um, uh, working uh, um, or just searching for a job during the one year. And of course, if they find a job, you'll be happy that uh, some of our graduates <laughs> will stay with us uh, in Europe. Yeah, so the stay back period is going to be one year. Exactly. Yeah. For both bachelors as well as masters. Masters, indeed. Yeah. And of course, when they, they get employed, they, they can stay as long as they, they have the employment agreement, hopefully for quite longer <laughs> than one year. Yes, that's very nice. So uh, what are the added values the students get, uh, you know, coming to Lithuania and studying in Kaunas University of Technology? Uh, so why would, uh, why would you suggest or what are the added values the students get, doctor? Can you please tell us something about that? Indeed, uh, actually studies, as we already mentioned several times during the show, is primarily reasons why students coming. But student professional and personal development is equally important in our university. Therefore, we pay a lot of attention to student uh, versatile development when it comes to their uh, talent development through talent programs, when it comes to mentor opportunities, so we provide mentors from the career to academic mentor, research mentors, so that students can really develop themselves going into the fields that they are interested in. Also, we provide uh, and students have the possibility to engage in several sport activities, art uh, uh, yes. societies, and also to train the, their body while engaging uh, in, the, in the sport activities and in the teams as well as in individually, as we see in Lithuania, okay. in a healthy body, healthy mind, so that they will be energized to study. And this complex from being, uh, from being in the safe country and the good recognized, globally recognized institution that provides diploma that is recognized worldwide and come together put it uh, with uh, additional values for students, it means the university is really an excellent choice for students to study there. I'm always proud always to say that my both parents are engineers, although they are retired currently wow. and they are graduates <laughs> of this institution. Oh, that's very nice. So alumni. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's very nice. So, so overall, like uh, it is going to be really beneficial, not only for academic purpose, but also overall, you know, the personality. Well, exactly, yes. personality, professional development. As we see from World Economic Forum, more and more employers are valuing also soft skills of the students, the yes. ability to work in international environment, yes. the ability to engage with different teams, the ability to work in, in interdisciplinary teams, and that kind of training could be provided during the studies so that students can get adjusted that, that they would start benefiting from the process from the learning process and that they can pass on into the, their careers yeah that's very nice overall development of a student Indeed. yes so that makes them more competitive Indeed. when it comes to job so Indeed. in in all the areas like academics the personal development everything exactly yeah that's very nice and what about the Startups, uh, the university helps for the students basically. Um, our university has very strong linkages with business, and being a research based in university, it makes okay. us an excellent hub for startups. So, since past years, uh, there were more than 600 successful startups developed in wow. the university, and most of them are obviously based on technology. So we are proud of that. We are proud that our students are uh, engaging in that kind of activities. We are also pro aiming to support students who are wanting to participate uh, in the international, like interna European International Engineering Days, where our students, international team from students from India, Brazil and Lithuania won one of the top places. So we are proud of students like this and they are example to other students uh, to follow their way. And uh, when the students are interested to develop startups, they have all the access to all the facilities and required training as well. That's very nice. 
and I also see that uh, the university has a lot of partnerships across the continent, uh, uh, both in Schengen area as well as uh, outside the Schengen uh, in terms of Erasmus exchange program. So the students are very excited to know about the Erasmus exchange program because they can actually exchange to different countries. So can you please uh, talk about that also? Indeed, uh, I think Erasmus uh, and uh, overall international exchange opportunities for students are one of the best that university can offer together yes. with all other added value that we already mentioned today. Yes. So the students uh, can go to more than 600 destinations where we have partnerships wow. that are ranging from Tech de Monterrey University in Mexico to Shizuoka University in Japan. Obviously all the European countries um, we have the agreements with the best universities in Europe and we encourage actually students to benefit from this additional once again international experience so that students could experience different cultures along with their professional training. So also it's uh, worth mentioning that the university is paying the scholarship for students depending on the destination okay. from the Erasmus program so that uh, the financial burden uh, on the families would be minimum if any. Yes. That's a, that's a great support for the student, basically, to handle mm. the finance. Indeed, and it's an important aspect as, as well for the student and for the family. So yes. then there is less financial burdens and daily burdens and the students can really follow, follow and focus on, uh, on studies, on their development, on, on their achievements that can pave the life to their uh, careers. Yes. And uh, what are the activities the universities generally take to make the international students uh, you know, settle because initially they are uh, going to have, uh, you know, the homesickness, they are away from the uh, mother, uh, I mean, motherland and the family particularly. So how is the university like uh, helping, what kind of an activities the universities are having for those uh, kind of uh, arrangements, doctor? Indeed, excellent question. Um, everyone in my team and also myself we studied abroad so we know how it feels to go abroad yes. first of all we we have students from more than 60 countries and being okay. homesick is indeed a part of the yes. experience therefore we take several steps to start with we always organize airport pickup so oh. there is a university or pickup organized okay and our volunteers or our staff is waiting there so that students would be collected and put it together and taken to the Dormitory, dormitory. So, so that students don't need to wander around how, how get I taxi, how get to, on the train or bus and how get, I do get to Konas. Okay. So this is the first step. We always encourage students to come one week in advance when we organize the Welcome Week, okay. which is the program aimed to, to show the university, to show the city and show the country more. So during that, uh, that week, students have all kinds of presentation, field visit through okay. the premises so that they get chance to familiar know. with the university exactly. yeah. to get familiarized themselves with the university also to meet friends from India but also coming from the other countries who are also starting their studies together so, so they, they can make already friends Correct. part of that week of course there are several culture activities concerts organized for all students together for international and Lithuanians together so they get, get initial chance to interact to, to see each other to dance together <laughs> it's a nice concert really sometimes soft activities make uh, integration much smoother and of course, we organize uh, several excursions so that uh, students can get the first glimpse of Lithuania. To, we take them to the, our seaside, which is under UNESCO okay. heritage, one part of the seaside we take to, to our capital city, so that they really get a, a bit more flame accommodated, of the Accommodated, accommodated to everything. Yes, and of course, there are numerous activities that take uh, along their academic year that we encourage uh, students to participate. And actually, they have chance to participate because most of, of the things are also in English entirely or bilingual. So it's not a problem for students not knowing even Lithuanian language to engage fully in the activities that are carried along the way during their studies. Okay, that's very nice. So I think the parents can be in uh, rest assured like uh, their children are taken care mm -hmm. because uh, you see the Indian parents are a little protective about their uh, children, how much ever they grow, whether they are going for masters or bachelors. I think parents are protective here, <laughs> whichever kind of part of the world we take <laughs> and that's just, it's a part of the being in the family and yes. it's nice. Okay. So how are the students uh, guided for the job market, uh, doctor? Uh, how well the students are like, you know, uh, uh, you know, exhibited introduced. and how, yeah, introduced to the job market. Can you please throw 
Yes, uh, we, apart from the professional uh, and career mentoring, uh, there's also several activities. At the end of October every year, university is organizing the biggest career fair for students, okay. where the international and local companies are present. And the main objective of those um, career fairs is that the students get to know their potential employer, they find the internship places, or they just if they have a first year student of bachelor's and just want to know what are the chances, what are the fields, so that they can actually go there and to meet representatives of the companies, cool. that they can chat with them and just know, know them better. Apart from that, there is also career man mentoring that I yes. uh, mentioned already. And also what we always have, and we are very proud that we have an advertisement board where the companies actually coming to the students that to is very and, nice. uh, posting their ads where the students uh, can get opportunities. Also, there are some students that we are also very happy about that they engage in the research activities and the research groups, mostly master and PhD students. Okay. So what about the PhD programs you have in the university, doctors? So we offer PhD programs in more than 19 fields and wow. it's entirely taught in English. Uh, also, it's worth mentioning that PhD programs, uh, are, some of them are state funded. Therefore, the students have a chance to study free of charge in state funded position and to receive the scholarship in addition. Therefore, the, they can get a PhD free of charge, I dare to say. Oh, that's very nice. And uh, when I was going through the uh, university website, I saw a couple of programs where it is mentioned as MA+, plus, BA+. Plus. So can you please tell something more about that, Doctor? I believe it's surprising to see. As I mentioned about uh, making our graduates versatile, this is what we really meant. Yes. And these kind of um, uh, BA+, plus and MA+, plus, uh, subjects and modules are intended for students uh, to get additional experience in entirely possibly entirely different field. So these are like studying major and minor. So once the student chooses the individually tuned plan, they have a chance to choose the subjects from the set list of the subjects where they study other fields. And what I mean the other fields, for example, students stud uh, studying aviation engineering might choose subjects from business and project management, or students studying chemical technology can study informatics, uh, informatics. and programming uh, for, uh, for getting and making yes. an app. So the combinations are very diverse and students are choosing very wisely, already thinking about their career. So this kind of uh, options are not often happening in Europe. Okay. And these are like major and minor, but they really benefit students because they, these options are not just electives, but they are recognized and acknowledged also in the student upon the graduation and okay. the diploma supplement. So they have the proof, official proof to them potential employer that they have already received those skills and competences. Okay, that's very nice. So, so what can a student take from Kaunas University of Technology uh, when he or she is graduating from the university? So uh, as you have been telling the skill sets and other opportunities and all, as an individual, what uh, kind of a, a confidence or uh, the confidence to face the, uh, you know, the world, what would you say about that? I always say that the confidence always starts from within, but our environment indeed empowers that. Our employees, uh, when we carry employee survey every spring, says that our graduates are really the best. They are well prepared from theoretical skills. They have good practical knowledge and they have very good soft skills. And the students, 90% uh, of our graduates get employment in th within the first year in the field of their study. So I think these kind of numbers says more than I could tell. That so is very nice. I encourage students to take every opportunity they get professionally, academically, and for their personal development at the university. And I'm sure that their career path will take off smoothly. That's very nice. So, and uh, you also mentioned that there is no need to uh, learn the native language. Indeed. So, uh, what about this IELTS, TOEFL, GRE, GMAT? Uh, uh, the, our students uh, have a lot of doubt whether they have to clear all that. Or uh, uh, if they clear that only, they get the admission. And can you please tell something about the admission process also along with this uh, language mm -hmm. proficiency mm -hmm. test? Indeed. So uh, for many students in India, many of them have studied already in English. And if the students can provide the, the proof, 
the certificate that the language of instruction was English, then they are already cleared and uh, they don't require to take IELTS to Cambridge or any other international test. In case the student doesn't have the test or haven't been undergoing studies in English, they have a chance to do online English tests that is free of charge, is carried out by our staff. Oh, and that is they, very nice. And they have the option to clear that. When it comes to other admission requirements, we are looking of the excellence, academic excellence in students as well as we put the same requirement to us. So we are looking at the higher than 60 CGPA okay. and of course every hour master and PhD student is going through motivational interview. Master students going through motivational interview with the program director or professor from the program okay. while the PhD students going through the interview with the committee. And also there are some additional tests for students who are going uh, to study informatics, they will have a mathematics test, or the students who are going to study architecture, so they will have architecture entrance exams, the same as local students, okay. and they have to provide portfolio. But uh, these uh, standardized the way of uh, checking academic knowledge is, uh, also gives a, a assurance to students that also other colleagues in their class will be strong enough and they can really advance further on in their academic training. That is really nice. So we have come to the end of the show, Doctor. Thank you so much Thanks. for your time, uh, for your lovely explanations for each and every topic. Uh, I, I am very sure that the students and the parents would have uh, really benefited from it. Thank you for having me. Yes, thank you, Doctor. Uh, so, Nairgale, where you are going to go to Sunday, you are going to go to Nerea University's Pathi Terenjikuno Abdina, Kila Scroll Light Rika number, you are going to call the name of the office. You are going to call the name of the direct counseling attend and information collect. Nandri, Vanaka.